It's not the embellishments. This is Rabbi Schifrin here. Um, I'm running for California State Senate, District 26. I'm asking for your vote because we need to change Sacramento. And there's an old saying, get the rascals out. Everyone that voted for your taxes to be raised needs to answer to you. And, of course, the answer is we don't need you anymore. It's time for some fresh blood. It's time for people that are committed to help the homeowner and the small business in the state. We need, we need candidates that will obviously help our schools stop the political correctness that's going on, the multiculturalism, the idea that we have 25% of our students are not even American citizens, illegal aliens. We're giving them education. We're giving them food. We're giving them housing. Uh, the people of California have just about had enough. So there is no more money for these programs. We need to completely clean our house up and start anew uh, in a fiduciary uh, cleansing of our state. This is not to say that we neglect the borders. Every one of the representatives in Sacramento is guilty of neglect on the borders. And they all pass the hat and say it's the federal responsibility. I'm saying that those days are over. We need to stand firm on our borders, not let anybody in here who is not an American citizen that doesn't go through the proper channels. When it comes to education, we have a 50% dropout rate in our schools. Again, 25% of the students shouldn't be there anyway. Uh, I will, many times I'm asked, well, how are you going to simply kick kids out of school? We don't do that. My platform is clear. It's English only. Once it's clear that we only speak English in our schools, they'll go back to wherever they're from because it will no longer be an enabling device for them to hang out here and collect their uh, entitlements. That's for starters. Secondly, uh, the 50% dropout rate is testimony to a completely failed system in our schools. The state says it's 30%. L.A. says it's 50%. No matter what you, you say, uh, we have a $45 billion price tag in the state of California as a result of dropouts from our school system. We need to radically uh, clean house in our educational uh, establishment. That means English only, students held accountable, no more occupying a seat, and people take role. And if you're here, we get money. If you're not here, we don't get money. My platform says specifically, if you don't pass after much opportunities for tutorial, for help, weekends, evenings, mornings, whenever, you pay. You pay back the taxpayers who you basically ripped off. When you failed your class, you're basically thumbing your nose at the people that worked double time, triple time for you to have an education on the taxpayer's dime. No more of that. The other thing that we're hammered here in the state of California is through our, um, our uh, criminal system. Our jails are beaming, are over, over brimming with uh, criminals. I am in touch with the sheriff of, uh, of, in Arizona, of Maricopa County, Sheriff Joe Arpaio. I have learned from him the way to straighten up our criminal um, system and our jails. <laughs> it's, it's very simple. As soon as the criminals feel uncomfortable in jail, they'll stop going to jail. When it became known to Sheriff Joe that um, condiments cost the county of Maricopa $20,000 a year, guess what was eliminated in the budget? Salt and pepper. Now, did the ACLU complain and howl and scream about, about uh, rights and whatnot? Of course. But they didn't get their salt and pepper. They have two squares a day there, uh, old sandwiches with perhaps tuna or bologna, and that's it. Guess where the recidivism rate is the lowest of any county in the United States of America? Maricopa County. 
Once they're jailed there, they don't come back. And that's what we need in California. That's what I plan to promote in all the legislation. Uh, anything I can do to save the taxpayers money. The next thing, of course, is jobs. Here in California, we've basically killed our job growth industries. Movie business moved to Canada. All the other businesses have dried up. They've left the state. They've gone to Arizona, Nevada, Georgia, wherever there's no taxes or lower taxes. We are wiping out our tax base in this state. I propose to not only not only not tax anymore, I think we need to lower taxes or eliminate many taxes, especially in areas where there's blight and urban uh, uh, decay. I propose that, for example, in areas in South Central LA, there should be no taxes for businesses that set up their businesses there. Let the people get jobs, and then we'll talk about taxes. In the meantime, if there's no work and there's no tax base, why are we taxing ourselves out of existence here in Los Angeles? And the last thing on my platform is criminals and illegal aliens. Under my platform, if you're here illegally and you assault or rape or felonize one of our American citizens, I'm going to propose that you be put in the desert in a lockup with concertina wire. And if you want to eat, you can have your girlfriend bring you lunch. It's really simple. There's going to be zero tolerance for illegal aliens preying upon our citizens. Those days are gone. I will fight all the special interests, all the radical Hispanic groups that are basically uh, working hand in hand with the illegals. That is my platform. That's my pledge to the people of California. So again, taxes lowered, zero tolerance for illegal aliens, gang activities in our schools, zero tolerance for that. And not only that, those people that are in our schools are going to be held accountable for learning. No more just showing up with your fashion clothing and your rings in your ears or in your nose saying, here I am. You come into our schools, you're going to learn, and we'll train you. And we're going to do our job to train you and give you an education. And your job as a student to sit down, take notes, do your work, and pass so you can pass the California state exams. If you fail to do those things, I will propose that you have no driver's license. I'll propose you don't get any loans for mortgages. I'll propose that all the rights that you will get as a California citizen will be denied you because you have not fulfilled your pledge to be a productive member of our California society. That's my platform. I hope that you'll vote for me. God bless you and God bless America.